la la da 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 da. Hey everyone, how's it going? Uh, today we're gonna be playing Alpaca Staka. Look, the title's right here. We are in the menu screen for it. That is a creepy looking alpaca. But um, so let's tell you a little bit about the game. Uh, it's a 3D adventure platform where you play as a kind of alpaca dedicated to helping their animal friends. Alpaca Staka is a 3D platformer. Play where you play as Paz. This is du this dude is Paz. Paz, maybe. Uh, a kind of alpaca that I help in the animal same as next thing. Uh, explore the island to collect Mama's hen's lost chickens. She's Truso. The mysterious girl will follow you around the island. And that's it. Um, this is an indie game made by a the same people who did the game I did uh, like a year or two ago called Left on Red, which was a text message sort of a game, text message choice matter type of game. Uh, the tags for it are uh, Indie, Exploration, 3D Platformer, and Collectathon. Collectathon would be, I, I would imagine, like your Pokemon type game, since when I clicked on the t actual tag, if you didn't know that, you click on the tags in Steam to see what other games fall under those tags. Uh, Temtem was one of them, so that's a Pokemon type game, and Cookie, cookie Collector? Yeah. Uh, so we go here, there's a start screen, there's an option screen, there's a credit screen. Go on the option screen, there's an audio option, master volume, music volume, and sound effects volumes. I'm gonna lower the music volume just a little bit, you have to hear it. Uh, the controls. This is a keyboard control game. WASD, mouse to look around, left shift to sprint, space to jump, E to talk and shake, talk to animals and shake trees. You get to emote with your uh, right click, plus tab to view map and escape to access menus. Okay, fairly simple. Made it a little low. Okay, let's play. One day, Paz the alpaca went to visit Mama Hen for a party. Little nice little uh, child-like drawings. At her farm, Paz met her children. Chirpy, Chase, Cherry, Cheryl, and Choco. They were all about to party when Strusel, Strusel the squirrel, scrolled up. This is such tongue twisters. Out of jealousy, Strusel sent Mama Hen's chicks loose and disappeared. What's the jealousy? Because he didn't get invited? Now Paz must help Mama Hen by bringing all of her chicks back safely home. I add the word back. <laughs> okay, so here we are. Woo! I jump. Look how high you jump. Press E. All my children aren't back in the fence yet. Why would Strusel let them loose? Was he jealous? Oh, who knows what could happen to my children. Trippy could get lost looking for things to sing. Chase could tire himself out for wandering around. Cherry and Gerald might eat too many red apples. Chocomark is stuck in some mud. Oh, Paz, please help me find my children as soon as possible. Okay. I actually hear a baby chick. So you gotta find them all. Cause you gotta find all the baby chickens. Ah, oh, I see some. Ah, oh, there's one. Shut on Cheryl. Burp, whoop, that's a lot of apples. Cheryl. Now we're even an eating contest. I ate 103 apples, I think I won. But at what cost? I need to ride a burp home. And I got the achievement Cheryl. Look, I see another one. <laughs> mud. <laughs> Love mud. Achievement Choco. And they jump off your back and they go in. What? You bounce off the thing, you use mushrooms. What a boring, oh, interesting type game.
I see one over there. Damn it, Struzel. Struzel. There he is. Got him. Whoa, you're fast, Kaz. But I bet you can't catch me again. Oh, that's fast. I'm. I was lucky, but I'm the fastest around. Dude, stop running off on me. You're really fast. Takes deep breath. Whew, that was fun. Maybe when I go bigger, we can race, and then I'll win. For now, I could use a ride home. Only two more. And bam! Bam! No! Ah, what the hell was that? Why was that so high? Oh dear. Okay, you were supposed to jump that high. I got it. Oh god! Huh. Jump it up. Pavez, did you hear my song for Mama? I can't wait to sing for her. Well, we're missing one. Uh, cherry eating red apples. Red apple tree. I should have read these. Red apples over there, let's go. Ah, oh, there you are. Oof! It's Pats! I'm glad you found me. Chair and I are in an apple eating contest. I at 24, I bet I won. Oh no, you didn't. You G803. You're screwed. Can you take me back home? I'm going to rub it in her face. I don't know what the weird accents are I put on people. But I'm heading back. Oh god, I missed. Platforming fail. It looks like a nice little game, like nice little 3D models. It reminds me of like a Nintendo 64 type of game. Like with the style. And then we go here and then. Ta da! Back home, another achievement. Oh! And then I'm talking to Mama Hen. After returning all the chicken home, Mama Hen was relieved. All the chicks thanked Paz for all the fun. Struso saw they were more happy before and felt more lonely. Mama Hen saw Struso and instead of turning him away, invited him to join the rest of the party. And just like that, Paz, Mama Hen, and her chicks, Stru and Struso all celebrated the day together. Seeing as they're the only people on the island, that makes sense. And then we have the credits with some more stuff, and there was a little singing contest. That is the entire game, like, yes. Um, let's go through the game and what, what I thought of it. And if it, let's first go through the tags. Indie. It's made by Spookaloo Games. I've never heard of them. Have you guys? Or Spookalele, because I like ukulele. Maybe Spookalele. Wasn't scary, but whatever. Uh, indie. I would say Indie, yes. Exploration. Um, you are exploring the island, not really. You're just looking for the things. Like, you are exploring a bit. It's more like searching. 3D platform. There was some jumping bits. They weren't that hard. If you failed, there was no consequences because fall damage isn't a thing anymore. Collectathon. You were collecting some baby chickens to put them back, and I thought that was interesting. Uh, the name of the game, Alpaca Stacka. What'd you guys think? Um, I thought it was interesting. I, I mean, you could stack all the little chickens. It wasn't like, like when you're stacking a bunch of things and they can fall over. I thought there was no danger to the baby chickens. 
Um, I did enjoy the game. Um, I felt like it could have been more. It was a cute little kids game. I think little kids maybe would enjoy it. As an adult, I was just honestly bored. I did say bored at one point. I am sorry. I thought you were rude, but um, I would give it a three out of five stars. It wasn't horrible. I didn't feel like I was suffering. I did lose my interest a little bit at times. Nice, simple story. I liked the little animation storyboards they had, and I thought I enjoyed it in general. Other than that, that's it. I'm going to say peace out, peace out. Bye, guys.